You read the title correctly. I decided to react to a subscriber's spoken word poem. By the way, I'm going to actually be announcing in a future video how you too, as a viewer or subscriber, can actually get me to react to your poems. I'm not going to go into detail about that now. For now, let's enjoy this because this will actually be the first of many reactions on spoken word poems or raps done by you all. All right. So stay tuned for all that. Subscribe if you want me to eventually react to some of your stuff. Let's get started. New York City, you're now listening to the youngest DJ in charge, the mixtape king. Ron G. And what you're about to witness is paltry in motion. They can fabricate. They can play your hate. But they will never be able to replicate what you can do. Straight out of the BX. New poetry from Sean Hudson. This joint is called Therapy Part 5. Shout out to the Hidden Gem. LLC. Let's get it. Physical. Growing up. I was used to being stared at by relatives. Whenever I would eat anything, because they felt like me being fat, I didn't deserve to have anything that wasn't a salad. I swear they would sound just like DJ Khaled. Saying you eating another one? Dang. My grandmother got diabetes. My father has diabetes. My aunt died from diabetes. And fried food, junk food, and sweets is all that the hood ever could seem to offer to feed me. And see, that's the thing. A lot of hoods are actually known economically as food deserts. I bring that up specifically because it's not like there's no access to food at all or anything, but there's no access to nutritious food, like food that is low in calories, but high in nutrients that you need. You know what I'm saying? So it's called a food desert in that sense. So a lot of times, yeah, obesity and diabetes be running rampant in these in these parts. You feel me? And it's, it's not their fault. So, yeah, I, I definitely... I understand, um, not from a personal experience, but just from an intellectual one. I get it. Yeah. And straight up, man, like, especially <laughs> as a black person, man, let me tell you, black folks can be real cruel about it. They'll be like, boy, you should only be eating a salad. That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, they'll just tell you straight to your face. Like, they, they will not sugarcoat it. You feel me? Heck, they're probably worried if they sugarcoat it, it's going to make you fat or something. Like, like, like literally, they'll, they'll make jokes like that, G. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> even me like when i've gained a few pounds in the past i've been like roasted crazy i'm like dang like bro it, it's it's insane all right <laughs> let me let, let's just keep going when i was 14 i was borderline diabetic which had me sick to my stomach i switched my diet up hit the gym all the healthy food is either expensive or just tastes nasty as fuck to me the powers that be know that most of us got to decide between paying high rent or feeding our families. Yeah. Most of us don't know how to grow our own food, even with local gardens. I got homies that talk that healthy shit all fucking day and ain't have a checkup in 10 years or want to clown me because of my belly. I swear, your bias towards fat people is weird. The people that talk the most about living healthy contradict themselves the most. Niggas bragging about being vegan, yet they out here smoking cigarettes and having raw sex. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Mind you, I know like there's plenty of vegans who are not like on some hypocritical nonsense, but I've definitely encountered some where I'm like, are you for real right now? Cause I know you. Yeah. Your diet might be on point. I guess some of them be real hypocritical about some stuff. I'm like, I know your lifestyle. You are nothing health like healthy and you are not synonymous G. But the, the annoying thing about being overweight or even obese is that Unlike other health conditions that you can't just see from looking at someone, that one you, you can, you know, um, that doesn't make it right to clown them necessarily. I did a reaction recently to the fat joke by Rachel Wiley. And in that video, in her poem, she was actually talking about how a lot of doctors can't wrap their head around how someone of her size doesn't have high blood pressure. But if you looked at her and then you looked at me and asked who has a higher blood pressure, you would assume her just from looking at her. You would not assume me, but I have high blood pressure. Like, it's pretty bad. I have to take medication and change up my diet, you know, and I'm only 24 years old. You feel me? Like, bruh. <laughs> so you can't just tell everything just from looking at somebody. And yet they out here smoking cigarettes and having raw sex with bum motherfuckers. You got people who work out every day, but it don't help them lose their ugly personalities. Do you know how it feels for your doctor to tell you that you're not supposed to survive COVID-19 just because you're fat? I bet skinny people don't because you never have to deal with that. 
mental. My pen gets mystical when the PTSD kicks in. There's no limit to the murders that our black eyes see. My brain masters the pain as my soul is fiending for peace. While the street soldiers' stomachs remain slim. There's nothing soft or silky about the shock of a parent having to bury their child due to America's homicidal tendencies. Three years ago, I tried to take my life. I knew that shit would've cut through my family's hearts just like a knife. Don't try to lecture me. I heard it all before. Every day I walk outside my door, it's like I'm preparing for a never-ending war. Schools giving you half-truths, cops harassing and murdering you, niggas on your own block would rather murder you instead of seeing you pop. My mom's prayers is the only reason I'm still here. This world is wicked. They'll kill a nigga over cold fries. Y'all still surprised why so many of us are destined to never live and are only destined to die? Trust me, when I get on the train, I don't want to deal with nobody homeless or off their meds either. But I know throwing them in the hospital against their will is just another way to disappear them from society. Yet Eric Adams talks about he cares. I swear, you gotta love the irony. Maybe if they had permanent homes, then they probably wouldn't be bugged out, ready to split your dome. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a fat nigga expressing himself. Where the ghetto has been my only home. Man, express yourself, man. Thank you. And see, the beautiful thing about this is that he didn't simply take the struggles he had and just live with it. He used it as fuel to create something beautiful. You see what I'm saying? So this is called Health Therapy Part 5. So I'm wondering part what part one through four is all about. You feel me? Like, I'm real curious because, yo, this hit heavy, man. It really did. And let this be a lesson to you all. I'm going to make it even a lesson for me. You know, in spite of the ridicule, the hurt, the pain I've been through, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes caused by people, sometimes just caused by life, you know, things just going out of control. I am not about to just be in pain and that's it. I'm going to recycle that and use it to push me into making some beautiful art. You feel me? I know like that he's not the only artist who's a subscriber on the channel others of you y'all are also artists plenty of you you know what i'm saying do not just do not just sit with that pain do not sit with that struggle use it to fuel your art you feel me like i keep saying i'm sound like a broken record but for real use it to fuel your art otherwise if it just sits in you it will corrode you from the inside out i'm telling you so yeah hey sean you real like you the real real you feel me Thank you so much for sharing this. I'm subscribing right now. Subscribed. You have a new subscriber. Yeah, for real, man. This was sweet. So anyway, like I said before, I am going to be putting out a video or maybe a community post explaining how this is going to work where you as subscribers can actually uh, send your stuff to me and I'll actually react to it. It's going to be for a fee. All right, I'm just letting you know that now. It ain't going to be free or nothing, but um, hopefully it'll be something affordable for you all i'll hash it all out real nicely for you so stay tuned for that but man sean bro you you spitting bars man you spitting bars i ain't gonna lie so definitely subscribe to him i'm gonna have his channel in the description of this video he did not ask me to do this he only asked me to react to it but it's gonna be in the description so definitely click on his youtube channel subscribe for more all right hope you all enjoyed i'll see y'all next time deuces